Welcome to this video about data types. AI is all about data. In AI, we need to manipulate some kind of data all the time, and that data can come in a lot of different forms. These are called data types. We saw that text written between quotes in Python. It is called a string. In programming terminology, a string is known as a data type. A string is only one of the many types of data found in Python. There are many other data types as well. We have integer data type, which represents whole numbers without a fraction, like 1, 502, or 1 billion and 23,000. We also have another kind of numerical data type called float, which represents real numbers, or in other words, a number with a fractional part, like 2.5. Boolean is another data type which is primitive to most programming languages. Boolean data can take only one of the two possible values, true or false. So when there is an occasion to consider a collection of data, what do we do? Python supports multiple data structures, each with its own unique characteristics. We will learn about these in detail in the forthcoming lessons. Let us simply list the data structures in Python for now. We have lists, tuples, sets, and dictionaries. We also have arrays in NumPy package. But in NumPy array, the objects will all have to be the same type. In data science, data can be segregated into multiple types. We have object data, which can be any alphanumerical value. So the options are infinite. Names of people, names of places, item codes, etc. fit into this kind of data. And because of the nature of the data, data of this type is usually ignored in inference as it is seen as data which has no impact. And then we have categorical data. These are similar to objects, but they can only be a finite number of options, like days of the week, months of the year, etc. Then we have ordinal data, where the order matters, like first, second, and third. These are usually encoded to numeric values to have a better influence on the predictions. And finally, we have the nominal values. These are continuous data, like marks scored in an exam or price of houses. We will learn in detail about some of these data types in the next few units.